reinforcements to your testimony or to the gospel are needed? How firm is your testimony in the gospel of Jesus Christ? Please believe me when I say that when your spiritual foundation is built solidly upon Jesus Christ, you have no need to fear. That was coming from our prophet, Russell M. Nelson. I want to give you a recap of what I felt of general conferences past weekend, and I have to say, holler, it was huge. Who did not feel that power spoken of our prophets, apostles, seers, and revelators? To me, that is probably one of the most strengthening testimonies I have felt since I've joined the church, is seeing our prophets, seers, and revelators present. I had a friend who texted my iPhone and said, um, he lives in uh, Northern Idaho, and he said, I can wrap this conference up in six words. I have felt this message for a year and a half though. I have to say, I feel that the message is about love God, love thy neighbor, whether it's on your right, left, north, or south, whether you live in an apartment building, and love yourself. Can you honestly say that you love yourself? Even Elder Gong's message, everything was about inclusion, was about loving all, about following the faithful path, about following the covenant path. There was another quote I love. As we keep the covenants, he endows us with his healing, strengthening power, and oh, how will we need his power in the days ahead. That, wow, we do. So there's a lot of people, there was a, a lot of messages too. I believe it was Elder Oaks talked about loving people that were not even in the church and that there was a lot of churches that are experiencing a decline of people coming. And he his plea was, we don't care what religion you are. We just want you to feast spiritually on whatever religion you go to. Now, I have a cousin who, she's only related by marriage, but she's Jewish, and her husband was brought up Catholic, and she told me not too long ago, yeah, my husband and I decided we're gonna take a vacation from church. How can you take a vacation from church? I mean, that to me is like, like, I just can't imagine taking a vacation from church. That is impossible. So, but when I was was watching this general conference, even my friend Angela, who lives in South Jordan, she was texting me some insights that was just like va 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 boom. So I want to hear what are your insights into general conference? What did you get out of general conference that you're going to be journaling? Because what I've noticed is after general conference, you have this huge spiritual high, and then all of a sudden tomorrow comes and it's like this peak, and you're like. What? <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Because you're so used to all of this, you know, the, the conference talks. And I mean, literally, they spent, what was it, 10 hours addressing us? They did three sessions yesterday and two today, both at two hours per session. That's a lot of talks. That's a lot of stuff for us to take in. That's a lot of information for us to journal. So I want to hear what highlights and recaps you liked. So I'm going to get to your comments and see what you have to say. I'll probably do it for my iPad. It'll probably be, oh, heavens. Let's see. Let's try it for my iPhone. Okay. Our friend then EW says, hi, Dennis. Well, hello back. And my friend Sandy from West Jordan, you are in our prayers tomorrow. You're going for a hip replacement and we are all going to be praying for you. Hello, my friend. And we have our friend Sean says, what's up, brother? Well, how was your general conference, Sean? I was on fire. My biggest message, I guess, is you can um, that we need to immerse ourselves in Scripture. As, as you are true to your covenants made in the temple, you will be strengthened by his power. That was said directly by our prophet, Russell M. Nelson, and I have to say, he is on fire. He is definitely on fire. He is definitely taking his vitamins. I want the vitamins he's taken because I'm like going, what? <laughs> I'm like, he really knows what's going on. Our friends, 
my friend, a song of myself dot IG says, going to the temple for the first time next week. Holler! And you'll be going to the Orlando temple, I believe. And we are all rooting you on. In November, you'll have your year of being baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ. And we are all here for you, my friend. I have gone live with her. She is a self-coach. Uh, a self-coach. She's a life coach. But she also specializes in LDS. So if any of you need a, a, a life coach, her screen name is S O N G O F M Y S. E L F dot I G. And she is fabulous. We have our friends uh, W R L says a bunch of red hearts. And yes, yes, and yes. And we have, um, let me see, my life coach friend in Florida says everyone walking the earth has already chosen Jesus Christ in the plan of happiness. That is coming to you from a friend who's only been baptized less than a year. And that is so powerful. She also says, um, I agree. I don't remember what it is you agree for. <laughs> Holler. That was probably a while ago. So let's see what else you guys have to say about what you loved about general. Oh my gosh. Is that A-I-Y? I just got your pillow the other day and your painting. I showed it two videos ago. Love, 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 love it. So thank you for your pillow. It's right over there. And it's like so cool. I was going to go grab it, but then, yeah, that could be a mess. <laughs> Holler. So thank you for sending that. I love it and love the painting. Uh, let's see what other comments. Oh, my friend who's a life coach says... My hope is that we all stay in our spiritual, yes, we all stay on the spiritual path. And that is, that is what I am praying for too. Um, the New York Unicorn. Oh, that's my friend. You changed your profile photo. photo. Holler. Um, I have 42 pages of conference notes. 42 pages? Okay. That is huge. <laughs> that is more than I have. I mean, I have it on my Apple iPad and my um, my MacBook Pro right here. And I'm like, I don't think I have 42 pages. But that is that is impressive. So I have to say holler because that is cool. I love hearing that. And then our friend Rachel underscore Williams 409 if you want to change the shape of your life, change this hour. Yes, that's a great one. A uh, great one. Our friend Kit54 says, always love the New Testament, uh, New Temple announcements. Wasn't that great? They announced like 12 new temples. And um, Idaho is getting one in the northern section, which I think is, uh, that is so cool that they're building multiple temples and even uh, several in Utah. I mean, but I love seeing temples grow up, go up everywhere. We need more temples. That is so cool. I love hearing that too. Temples are amazing. Our friend WRLD says, I related to the message about focusing on things drawn the road by Elder Alvin F. And then... Uh, where he, where on, I'd focus on the spiritual journey of Christ. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Our friend S B S dot B dot Bennett. Are you related to an elder Bennett by chance? I probably asked you this already. Um, I loved the focus of the temples. Yes, that was a good one. And that was a, um, the focus of several of my posts that I shared was on the temples I've really missed spending time there and it's um, on my, it's me, I need to rebuilding my spiritual foundation just like the temple. Yes. And you know, when, when uh, Sister uh, Nelson and President Nelson were touring Salt Lake Temple and they were showing, you know, pictures of the foundation and how it needs to be fixed and, and needs to, you know, it needs to last for another hundred years. 
That really resonates with me. It really, really makes sense. And when there was an elder that was talking about the importance of using God's name in the church, in the scripture, and I was like, wow, we are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We are members of the church with the Lord's name in it. We're not Mormons. There's so many breakaways. There's so many people that have that are claiming to be false prophets. There was something else that was said, beware, I think um, our prophet said this, beware of social media accounts that claim and also that, that also watch out, you know, be protected, build up these walls and fortresses of protection. And I've always agreed with that. Even though, you know, I, I get a lot of comments saying that we need you or, and I always try to turn it back to you. Well, I need you. I need your testimony. That was a really good observation. Thank you, my friend. Um, the New York Unicorn. I made a couple of posts on IG about a few things I felt then today. Um, just so good. It was, it is amazing. So tomorrow we need to immerse ourselves in our notes. Like my friend, the New York Unicorn, who basically wrote a novel with all of her notes, which I love. I still think you need to write a book about your conversion story. And I could be your literary agent that represents you. Holler. Um, so yes, that's what I do for a career. I'm an LDS literary agent. I represent authors and I have a lot of fun doing that. So, uh, my friend K I N E Z Z I E says my personal restoration is is ongoing with God every day. That is so true. Hey, Karen, thank you for joining. Um, our friend Colleen Lowe from Southern California. If you ever need a real estate agent, her and her husband are the bomb holler. She says, the prophet is on fire. Yes, he is. I want to have his energy when I'm his age. I want to have his energy now. <laughs> holler. So, um, my friend who's a life coach, songs of myself dot IG says, yes, temple prep for endowment starts 1010. That is so exciting. So in a few days, you start your temple prep for endowment. That is such a blessing. Gosh, it seems like yesterday I went through temple prep. And being in the Eldest Quorum Presidency, we were talking about that in a meeting the other day where... We're going to start temple prep again for three new people that we want to go through the temple. So that's so cool. Our friend Sean says, um, I loved hearing from the prophet and hearing about the new temples. Yes, it's a lot of people's consensus. And our friend S.B.Bennett, it was a great conference. It was an amazing conference. It was on fire. I have been in such a spiritual funk and struggling daily, this was the spiritual boost I needed. Well, let me tell you, if you're in a spiritual funk, reach out to your ministering brothers or sisters because I can testify that they can help. And if they can't, reach out to your bishop and really let people know that you're struggling because I wanna know how can I help you? How can we help you on here? There's 33 people on right now. So what can we do to help you through that? Although you did say conference was amazing, so I'm glad. My friend Sandy from West Jordan said, um, yes, we will be, we will in the temple by his power. I love all the talks, but they were all about love and how to stay strong in the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen. Our friend Graham, um, Cherry122 said, um, or says, I love ye elders, beautiful talk and mental illness struggles. God is mindful of every personal trial and with us in his afflictions. Yes, he is. And I believe that talk was yesterday, uh, but it was a great talk that they had and I love it. So my friend Colleen Lowe, in Southern California says, change your day, change your life. That is a great affirmation. Our friend WLD says, correction to above, see 
a CKMM, where he focuses on spiritual journey with Christ. And we have um, a lot of people join. This is so exciting. And I love all of your waves. My friend Audrey Earl is on. Holler. She said, uh, and she has a newborn. Her and her husband, Andrew, were, were invited me on their vacation to attend um, the Hilcomore in, the, the Palmyra, in Palmyra with them. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. So we need to give our friend Audrey underscore Earl a huge shout out and lots of love. I love Elder Holland's talk about being one and having no contention because of love of Christ. And there can be disagreements, but it's done with respect. Audrey, you are a great member missionary, a huge member missionary. And I'm just giving you a virtual hug or a missionary hug right now because I love that. And I just have to say holler to our friend Audrey Earl and our friend S.B. Uh, uh, says, oh, I agree. The focus on mental health was so needed. Yes, it is. And Audrey says, um, also, how many conferences does this make for you? Well, your husband invited me to a conference five years ago and I watched it out of obligation. And so this would be my, so five years. And then he invited me again in April before I was baptized. And I'm like, I don't want to watch this general conference stuff because I felt like I was going to be quizzed. So this is my, in four years, it's been um, eight, nine, ten. So this is a total of 10 conferences, but only eight since I've been baptized. So yes. And look how much I've grown, Audrey. I mean, you knew me back when I was like this big. <laughs> and... um Wow, that is holler. Give my best to Mama Judy for me. Um, yes, more temples is being said. And Tracy says, yeah, crazy. There's a temple in, yes, there is. And yeah, that's going to be awesome. There are going to be temples everywhere, everywhere. So, um, and we have one, uh, WRLD says, one of my favorite quotes, things give the Savior more joy than serving those who return or turn to him. Yes, that was a great quote. Great, great, great quote. Our friend um, K-A-R-N underscore A-N-T. Yes, um, there's new temples. Can't believe there's going to be three temples in the country, in my country. That's awesome. And our friend N-A-T-A-S says, the focus on mental health was 100%. Some things that's needed. You know, so many of you are bringing that up. And I'm really glad that you are bringing that up because we have something called Therapy Tuesdays with Dr. Christy Kane. She's an LDS therapist in Highland, Utah. And I'm going to let her know about this because we're going to probably talk about that on Tuesday. Um... Our friend Colleen Lowe goes, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Holler! And uh, we have our friend Holly says, um, Elder Anderson, yes, he did a great talk. And our friend B-R-A-N-D-O-N underscore Perkins, I loved Wilcott's testimony about not being, yes, that was last night, I believe, uh, Brad Wilcox uh, talked, and that was a great one. I talked about that last night on live. Um, the New York Unicorn, I'm down. You got to write a book, sister. I'm telling you, we all want it. My friend Karen KCJ says, so good we have half a year to study this conference and apply that's true. All those teachings. Our friend Good Sunday. I love that screen name. The joy we experience has nothing to do with the circumstances from our lives, but with the focus, the focus of our lives. Focus on the Savior. I love that. And how'd you get that little heart with just the little, that's pretty cool. I don't know how to do that. Um, our friend, the New York Unicorn, says, I love the Temple Prep class. You will enjoy it. 
Hey, Andrew, your wife Audrey's on, and our friend CHMCVEY7 says, I hope the energy of, the, of living each day better and being there to help each other will stay with us and our foundation. With We will be so much stronger with the next conference rolls around. You know, we all need to develop our buddy system and stay with each other and remind ourselves of that each and every day because that is so imperative. Um, friend Colleen says, sending you love and strength on the personal struggles. I think you're talking to somebody else. Our friend Tracy says, I love how Sister Colleen is always uplifting. Sister Colleen, Colleen Lowe is, her and her husband are personal friends I stayed with in Southern California when I was doing a multi-state youth devotional. And she is all about affirmations. And I love everything about her. When she shares her, her positivity about the gospel of Jesus Christ with using affirmations, it's just, it's, it's impressive. Our friend, the New York Unicorn, I love your excitement. I hope we never lose our new convert fire. No, I do too. I mean, we need to have more convert fire. But it's not just converts that can have this. Even members can have this. Because look at our prophet. Look at Russell and Nelson. He is on fire. He is literally on fire. I watched conference with one of my elders. We haven't missed a conference together since. Aw, that is so cool. And you and I got baptized around the same time. You were in upstate New York. That is so cool. The Church of Jesus Christ is faith. How are you doing, Dennis? The cool celebrity influence. I'm not a celebrity. I'm just Dennis. I am just Dennis. I'm just like everybody else. <laughs> but thank you, my friend. Um, <clears throat> our friend Jean underscore loves her Diet Coke 1999. Love that screen name. I felt like this general conference was such a prep talk for whatever we are going through. Christ will be there with us. That is so true. This was not only a pep talk, but it was also a reminder that we need to stay on the covenant path to be able to reach him. So I'm so glad you got to spend some time with me tonight. And I'm going to say as my testimony that I know that general conference, that everyone was called to God and that as we ponder and, and feast upon what they have shared, that we too can strengthen our faith and our testimony in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that all it takes is for us to basically not only read it, but ponder it every day, we will gain more and more knowledge and insight into what, what we have just watched. And I say that as my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I love you.